What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and today I'm gonna be playing my new uh, Kara deck. This is the old Kara deck that I uh, played a while ago on my um, channel, but here is the Kara deck that I actually um, played with a couple weeks ago in Team Wars for Team Work, and I think it's a little better. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play with that in uh, ranked. Unfortunately, I. Uh, was away this weekend um, and didn't have that good Wi-Fi, but I still tried to play some Duelist and I lost some games due to uh, not really connecting to the servers. So my S rank did take a bit of a tumble and I think I'm probably the bottom of S rank right now, but we have almost the whole month to uh, get back there, so I'm not too worried. Just have to get in a nice win streak, um, which have been very hard for me to come by recently. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I can get a win today. So if you don't remember, Kara's Wellborn spell is where you give all the units in your hand plus one one. Um, so that really can snowball. Uh, but sometimes it's hard to survive the early game against aggressive units. So hopefully I have a good curve so I can combat that. Has a lot of uh, neutral minions in Kara because uh, Vanar doesn't really have that strong minions. Um, so Kara's uh, decks really just use the good neutral minions with good abilities and just make their base stats a little better every time you play them. So next time I think I'm gonna probably go back to Lionar but not uh, the same tempo Argeon uh, style that I've been showing you guys. I'm gonna finally uh, do my heal Lionar with uh, the other general Saran. But. That will be in the next ranked video, but for now, let's play this, and I'm going second. Oh, the scientist. Okay, this is like the best player in the game. Okay. Um, wow, okay, yeah. This is the best player in the game, I think. Um, work is cut out for us. So, I need this in case he plays like a chalk guy. It's our turn one. Do I really want to do that two, two things turn one when they don't, like, the two things that doesn't really help when you're not a uh... yeah okay because Hermes Fist and uh, Healing Mystic don't really they're just two three bodies on the first turn of the game um, so I don't think playing them both on the first turn of the game is that good you know okay Heartseeker he plays with Heartseeker interesting Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. So, I cannot tiger it, unfortunately. I could cryogenesis it. Is that worth a cryogenesis? No, if you ask me. I'm going to get rid of the Primus Fist. The Snow Chaser. So, I could go Spelljammer, Snow Chaser, but then I'd lose the Snow Chaser. So, why don't I just play the Spelljammer? Um, now where do I want to put this thing? I guess here, I mean, yeah, we don't mind if he kills it on his turn, then he doesn't reap rewards of a turn with Spelljammer. Okay, so a full hand, um, next turn, uh, hopefully I can get one of the Mana Springs, um, then I can maybe play a Zenru, Zenrui, which, uh, had quite the presence in my last ranked video. Zenru's a really good 5 drop. I'm tempted to put it in my Lionar deck, but I don't know, it's just like, 5 drop without like synergy with Divine Bond and Argeon does not really sit well with me. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and destroy that, but he played his own, so... Yeah. I'm gonna have, I can access 5 mana, I can't play this Zenru though. Um, do, 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 do. so if I put something there, okay. Well, I'll definitely play the Blood Seer Alchemist to destroy the Heart Seeker. I think this turn, and I'm gonna get rid of one of the Tigers. Primus Shield Master, that is a very solid draw. I like that draw a lot. So I will Blood Seer Alchemist kill you and I'll put down a Primus Shield Master and just provoke everybody you're all provoked and 
Yeah, I'll hit this. And I draw another tiger and a promise fist. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Kaleos with this teleport bloodborne spell. Provoke doesn't <laughs> usually matter. But let's see how this goes. So not a bad start for us. Um Again, I think I'm gonna have to play absolutely perfectly as well as get very lucky to beat this guy. Like I think he's at, like ranked number one S rank like month after month. So scary. And he's gonna go up there, so that means he can grab that mana spring. He's gonna have four mana, four wins mana guy. Okay, awesome. I have a uh, cryogenesis for that. Okay, so cryogenesis on that. I'll just do that first, I guess. Cryo. Now do I play the kinetic surge? And then I can play one drop? I think so. I don't think I replace here. I kind of like my hand. So I will play the Kinetic Surge. Um, problem is, I have to get rid of the Spelljammer this turn because I'm not getting any reward from it. So I'll kill the Spelljammer. Um, unfortunately, I can't get infiltrated. He's gonna walk towards me. Actually, well, this is still provoked, so I can. Never mind. Never mind. Um, and I'm yeah, I'm gonna deal more damage to him. I'll keep my Primus there, and I'll play one of these. Uh, should I attack with my Primus? Uh, no. Maybe I should have. Now that I see three Super Spine Tigers in my hand. I have a lot of damage from my hand. Obviously cannot be all played in the same turn, but... Kaido Assassin, okay. Well, I probably should have attacked then. Missed out on three damage. Killing Edge, okay. Well... I... guess... Oh, I just realized my hand's full. So you can just kill the snow chaser without any um, me drawing, drawing. Oh well. Okay, so I hit the Kaido Assassin. I can hit it with my general and kill it with a Saber Sun Tiger. I guess that's the right play. And um, I will get rid of. I don't need three Saber Sun Tigers. I don't think. That's a little overboard, I think. You know, I'll do the Saber Sign Tiger with this with Primus Fist so that Yeah, I'll do it like that. And should I replace? Ugh, I don't know. No, I'm not going to. Saber Sign Tiger, the one that has only three attacks so it can kill that and then I'll keep my hand I guess <laughs> and he's not provoked anymore so this snow chaser does not feel that uh, that good you know whatever and we're running low on cards now there's a spell jammer but I mean I wouldn't say running low on cards we have four cards okay He's probably gonna move up here, yeah, so he, I don't get the snow chaser back. Hopefully I'm not making any glaring misplays. Please, if you guys see a misplay, just like, tell me. Comment, and I'll try to improve my game with each passing video. Okay. Well, now I have seven. You know, do I have lethal? Did I beat the scientist? Uh, that would make both of these five attack. That's gonna be game. Wow. I beat the scientist, guys. Shows you even a scrub like me can beat uh, the top player with a bit of luck and not making any glaring mistakes.
Well played, sir. I think he got pretty bad draws. <laughs> it didn't seem like he was uh, <laughs> doing much during his turns. Well, that is a very satisfying victory, even though I lose S rank from beating him. <laughs> I wonder what he was ranked. Okay. Um, that only took 10 minutes, so let's play another game. And gonna play Fei Fushi Gdain. Okay. I'm going second. Can't play either of these. That's a bit of an issue. Lightbender. Eh. I'll get rid of. I don't think Aspect of the Fox so early is gonna help. You can play them big drops. I'll get rid of the Lightbender and the Aspect of the Fox. You think maybe I should keep the Lightbender over a. Uh, Dancing Blades, so I have more cards at each. I think Lepid is more of a mid to late game card, because nothing that's coming out now will have that great abilities. Uh, I did top deck our Chromatic Cold. Hmm. I wish he played something with 2 health and I could Tarth Sister and kill it. Ooh, it's a tough choice. What do I replace here? Goodbye, Dancing Blades. I don't think. I think 2 is a little overboard. Okay. Um. Hearth Sister, I guess I'll save. I guess I'm playing 2-2 two, two drops. 2-2 two, two drops, they don't really do anything. The Primus Fist, um... The Primus Fist, Healing Mystic combo. They're kind of op opposites of each other. He gives the attack, she gives the health. Um... I play them this way, uh... Meaning that I probably won't be able to walk on a mass spring next turn, which is unfortunate. But I didn't want to give the Crystal Cloaker free infiltrate. Yeah, it would have actually been really nice if I can get uh, the Mana Spring and then be able to play Dancing Blades next turn. So, But I had to go on that mid this middle tile so I can play the other one. I've made the mistake too many times to count where I like place things out of order and then I end up not having enough mana in the end. Where are you going? I have options in my hand, like I have a Astrico the Fox and Chromatic Cold. So if I see he's like plays a Mechazor unit, <laughs> I'll keep hold of those cards. Okay, he's gonna be able to use five mana this turn, play the spell jammer and a hearth sister to switch there, and he's gonna be able to destroy that. Okay, that was an effective use of that. Now, I'll get rid of the aspect of the fox. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help me much right now. Another chromatic cold. <sighs> this. I don't know if I love this. I think I'll take four to my face. No, may as well not take four to my face. I may as well take three to my face. Okay, I'll take three to my face. Um, do I even play a card this turn? I don't think I play a card. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna. I'll have a filled up hand, and this coming turn I can play Kinetic Surge. Yeah, I don't think playing a 3-2 Heart Sister would be worth it there. It would just get, it would just get, uh, probably just killed by the Spelljammer, or by the Fey, but we're not, Fey is definitely more aggressive than Kara, so I'm not really looking to trade minions for help on her general just yet, but now I'm set up for a nice uh, nice kinetic surge. I can go kinetic surge, primal shield master next turn, which should help me survive for a little bit. Uh, the only issue with that is I'd be losing out in a card from Spelljammer, so preferably I can play multiple cards this coming turn. Okay, he's gonna go a little aggressive now. Uh, very aggressive. <laughs> okay, in that case, um, ugh. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Could 
Dancing Blades. No, I gotta, I gotta get my first one of these off. Uh, rather than taking five to my face, I think I'll have to get rid of this with the Chromatic Cold. That's gotta be the play. I get rid of one of the Chromatic Colds. Though. I want more minions in my hand with this uh, Kinetic Surge. So goodbye one. Hello minion. Hello Kinetic Surge. And now I can play Chromatic Cold because. Or do I just play this Primus Shield Master? Nah. Goodbye, you. And. You know. I know I shouldn't be walking right into face face because I should be getting away right now. But uh, screw it. I need to get the snow chaser back in my hand at the end of the turn. I mean the hearth sister could have played, but Yeah, I could have played the hearth sister. Okay, it's gonna be hard to uh, survive now. He's able to deal four damage to me from the board. Could have anything in his hand like a snow piercer or uh, another Prime Shield Master. Not Prime Shield Master, uh Prime Fist. I'm very worried. Chromatic Cold's gonna kill that. Snowpiercer, okay. Well, I'm almost dead, basically. Because I have no uh, really way of healing. I forgot, I don't know if Virginia's in this deck. I know they're in my other deck. Ugh, this kind of sucks. Um, Whoop. I'll get rid of one of the Dancing Blades. I think carrying two is not a good idea right now. <sighs> okay, so I go, I guess, Maw for my Shield Master. I don't want to take any more health on my general, so I'm just going to run. Run like the wind and protect my general. At least this can survive a hit from the 5 attack. Okay, but I die in like 6 turns even if he doesn't deal any damage to me. I need to draw my Healing Mystics. I need to draw <laughs> my... I don't know, do I have Emerald Rejuvenator? He's taking me down too much. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been so close with my general this game. Should have backed the f, f away. Yeah, if he does it this turn, a turn, and then there's gonna be. He can't do it next. Well, he can do it once in the next two turns, and then, and then he can do it every time for that. So. He can win in about five turns, if even if I do nothing. Um, he plays his own Primus. Do I have Hollow Grove Keepers? I don't remember. I don't think so. I should really know my decks better. <laughs> Not just play them. Okay. Here we go. Uh, da, da, da. What do I do? What do I do? Snow Chaser, I'd get back in my hands. Kind of good. Gotta keep Zenru. You know, uh, I can get a huge thing going. I can kill that with these two, which is good. I gotta keep the Hearth Sister, I think. You know, I think I'm gonna get rid of the Snow Chaser. Feels like the least important card in my hand. No, but I can just keep getting that back if I'm lucky. Ah, uh, what to replace? What to replace? Okay, goodbye, Snow Chaser. Um, do I use this this turn? I can use this replace places, and then slam it in the face. Now nah, I gotta, I gotta pull one of these off first. Kinetic surge, and I'm going to take this thing out. Run away, and just play a big body. Right? Yeah. Hate to play this without anything, but without destroying anything. Oh well. Flame blood speeds up my death. 
Chromatic Cold speeds up my deck even more, and I'm dead next turn unless I draw some healing. Or I can win, which I don't think I... Oh, he actually has lethal. Well played. <laughs> Ouch. Well, that's going to be just over 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut off the video here. Win on a loss, but that win was against the scientist. That is the scientist, so... I think uh, net positive on the video. <laughs> like the video if you enjoy, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time. Keep on dueling duelers.